how to create a reverse sweep in logic to add that dramatic effect to your courses to suck people into those hook lines. I'm Charles Klein. I'm an indie musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. So if you're producing your own music as well, consider subscribing to this channel because these are what I'm making. These are all the videos. So please subscribe. Let's create a reverse sweep in this video. I'm going to teach you the fundamentals and then you'll see once you get used to these fundamentals, you can create reverses with anything uh, in, in your tracks, whether it's pianos, synths, vocals, drum hits, and you'll really start to use this and this, this fundamental of using reverses to create cool, cool features in your song. I'm gonna work with this crash instrument here. I'm going to reverse this and then you'll see exactly what happens. So I'm gonna have to do Control D to bounce this in place and it's just going to pop a different track down with the audio signal for me. So you can see, I need to bump up the audio signal a bit. It's the same note here, it's just with audio. So the biggest thing to notice here is this transient, it's kind of like a triangle, right, on its side. And this is what we need to create the sweep. It doesn't necessarily need to be with a crash. It can be with a piano note, Piano notes or chords that start strong and then fade out will also have a transient like this. They'll also look like a triangle on its side. Another popular one to create sweeps is with reverbs or yeah, like reverb off a of vocal, for example, or reverb off a of guitar, for example. We have these audio signal in Logic. We just have to go to the region here and then click reverse. And there we go. We have a reverse now. Important thing is to kind of zoom in here and look at where your transient ends because you don't really want, sometimes you might have to just come over here and fade out like by two or three, just so there's no popping. So you wanna make sure like there's not a lot of space here. You really want that end transient right at the end. And so we can just lower this volume and you'll hear that sweep. If we wanted a longer sweep, we'd have to extend the crash MIDI hit or find a bigger, longer sustaining crash or other instrument that has that sustain. Or maybe we want it actually starting here. Well, then we have to find a signal that can extend there. We can go hold Command and extend this note, but then we're kind of really messing with the sound. So it's kind of longer, but we can't we can't time stretch it too much. So you'll see what that sounds like. So I time stretched it a little bit there just to make it a little bit longer, but if you really want a really, really long one, then you probably have to go and just get a totally different audio signal. That's how to create a reverse sweep. Choose the instrument you're looking for, bounce in place, then go to the region editor, reverse it. So if you are making music, if you are trying to produce music and get better at it, then please consider subscribing because this channel is for you. I teach Logic Pro X and music production, so let's help each other in the comments, let's learn from each other, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.